Martina. And David. Hello, Dorian. Eating alone? I just had a wonderful massage. I thought I would treat myself to an early dinner. And you too? We're having a celebration. Enjoy your meal. I will. That's a very intense look. What are you thinking about? Dorian. And how weird life can be sometimes. You know, if it hadn't been for Dorian, you would have never come to Landview. I would have never known you would have existed. You came into my life because of Dorian. You're right. That is a weird thought. I don't care how it happened. You're here, and I couldn't be happier. I'll drink to that. As soon as we have some drinks, <laughs> what would you like? I think this occasion calls for champagne. Would you order me some while I go powder my nose? Sure. And I'm assuming Dorian will stay at her table and keep her hands off of you until I get back. Don't worry about me. I can handle Dorian. Estimating me. I got it from my sister. She gave it to me. Your who? My sister, Vicky. She made a very touching little speech when she made the presentation, too. You would have been moved, Dorian. Or maybe not. The gist of it was that she gave me this little memento of our mutual father as a way of letting me know that I'm finally a real member of the family now. Let me see if I grasp this. You had a lawyer draw up a document, a legally binding document, in which you renounce all claims, present and future, to Vicky's fortune. Mm -hmm. And in return, Vicky accepts me as her brother. Well, aren't you going to congratulate me, Dorian? Why would you do that, David? I don't understand you. Well, now, that really upsets me. If you're not plotting to inherit some of the Lord fortune, then what are you doing staying here in Landview? Why are you carrying on this ridiculous charade? Why are you risking blowing your cover, not to mention mine? Dorian, relax. Now that I've got Vicky's seal of approval, nobody's going to challenge beloved brother David. For now. You know, you really are a very nervous person. I don't know why I never noticed that before. All right, let's get to the bottom. Hey, cut to the chase. What? <clears throat> if you're not after the money, what are you after? Are you always this pushy? It's really not a very attractive trade. Surely you're not that desperate to get into the Lord family. Take it from somebody who's been there. It is not a day at the beach. <sighs> no. No, you're after something else. For the life of me, I cannot figure out what it is. Poor Dorian. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll figure it out. Darling David, <laughs> yes, I will. 